What's up ladies and gentlemen, Jordan's Macintosh HD and this is my mid-year what's on my iPad video. Welcome back guys, now I'm going to start with the first page and on the first page is Facebook, or on the top row is my social network. So for example Facebook, Twitter, Skype and YouTube, now they are the ones that I use the most. My other ones, well not my other ones, but the other ones like uh, Instagram and Twitter, uh, sorry, ugh. Instagram and Tumblr and them sort of ones I don't really use that much. I haven't really gotten into So I don't use them Next we have AccuWeather, which is awesome as a very 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 good one um, I'm gonna open it up. And, oh, maybe not. It shows my location. So what I will do is tell you it is awesome as hell I think I don't know if I paid for it or not um, Have a I'll ha actually leave it in the description whether they're paid or not But it's very accurate as you would expect by the title Next is Evernote and Penultimate. The reason why I'm putting these two together is because they're very similar. Reason being is because they have this, well, because they're very similar. <laughs> but um, no, Evernote is more of a sort of like Dropbox. You can, you can use it between devices. It also has like the typing feature more where Penultimate is kind of like, I'll open this up, it's just kind of like scribbling and just random sort of stuff and you can change colors of the pen and whatnot but uh next we have google chrome and google chrome is way better than safari i personally uh, <clears throat> personally believe both on mac and on uh ios devices then we have the average ones like uh, app store itunes maps and facetime yeah i use them quite a bit next we have my banking then uh, afl which is kind of like the primary uh, sport down in the south of, of the south southern region of Australia, and then we uh, we have a calendar clock, sort of general things, and my uh, Telstra 3G um, provider, then just settings. So next page is sort of like my um, use, useful slash utensil uh, utensils, and I've got like games and then random crap that I don't really want on here. So. Start off with Xbox Smart Glass, which is actually really good and they're updating it even further at this point when the Xbox One comes out. But what this does is basically allows you to control your Xbox from your iPad, but you can't play games with it, I don't think. Maybe you can, but it would be pretty awkward. So, I'm not going to open it up because I do have to turn on my Xbox to do so, but um, it's pretty awesome. It's, um, excuse me, it's... You can swipe between home pages, you can do this, you can do that. There's a bunch of different useful features and it is free, so definitely go ahead and get it if you have an Xbox. Next is eBay for my eBay things. Call of Duty Elite, which I don't play Call of Duty too much anymore, so yeah, pretty, pretty average. Um, then Scout, which my friend introduced me to, it's just like an I am sort of messenger that you can message to people if you're bored and it's just like random so you shake your phone or your iPad and you get someone new. And then we have Photo Touch and Photo sorry, Photoshop Touch and Camera Plus. These two are fairly similar, although Photoshop Touch is more of a pure editing program where Camera Plus is more effects. Next we have UFC TV because I do like to stay up to date. And let me fix that zooming oh sorry, focus because it's yeah, okay, that's a bit better. Um, then we have videos and podcasts, because, you know, I like to watch videos and listen to podcasts. Then we have uh, Math Formulas, Dropbox, again, very useful for uh, exchanging, I think, videos as well, and photos, and a bunch of different files and stuff. Then Flipboard, which is kind of like, it kind of incorporates your social networks into one application. Kind of gives you a bit of a feed. And then we just have some more pe uh, math formulas, um, calculator, find my iPhone, in class, which I found completely useless, but some of you may find useful. Uh, look up on it if you are interested, and then my fitness pal. Next is my games page. So um, I don't have too many at the moment, but I did have a lot. If you have a look at my app store, I'll <coughs> excuse me, my voice is dying. I was yelling all night. I had soccer today. So my voice is kind of croaky and weird. On top of that, I do not do have a bit of a cold because it's like five degrees in Australia at the moment. 
during the upcoming winter. So anyways, back to the iPad, uh, the first app or game is a hill climb, hill climb racing, which is a very fun one. Um, Scribble notes. Oh, by the way, hill climb, hill climb racing is free. Definitely go ahead and download it. It's kind of like a little car game. Scribble notes unlimited, or I think it's just Scribble notes something else. Um, that's quite fun. I like that because I do have it on my Mac. Also, Bike Baron. Bike Baron is a paid one, but it's very fun. Hundreds of different maps to play on. It's kind of like dirt bike, but just iPad version. Then we've got Beach Buggy. Ooh, knock the camera. Next we've got Beach Buggy Blitz, which is another free one. Just a quick time time trial sort of one. Sorry if I burp. I don't feel too well, like I said, and I just ate dinner, so... Next we have, uh, just uh, just thought I'd throw that out there for you guys. Um, next we have Temple Run 2, everybody knows what that is. Zombieville 2, which was a paid for one as well, it's quite fun. I did enjoy it for quite a while, but kind of left it alone for a fair bit now. Next we have Minecraft, which I have purchased on the Xbox and the computer, but the problem with the iPad one is A, it's expensive, so some people may not be willing to buy it on there. And B, the controls are just dodgy as all hell. I didn't like it at all. It's fine on the Xbox. Takes a little bit of a while to get used to. Computer is very easy, but on the iPad it just doesn't work. Neither does it on the iPhone if they have it there. And then uh, Beach Buggy Blitz. Sorry, what the heck am I saying? Sorry. <laughs> um, Blitz, which is Bejeweled. And that's uh, it's quite a fun one. That's free. Uh, a bit of a time passing thing. Uh, Tiny Wings HD, which is also a paid for one, but they have a free one. That's another time wasting one. It's very fun. Angry Birds is also paid, and I again, same thing, but it's just, I found it a bit boring after a while, like most of them do become. Same, again, same thing with um, Flight Control Rocket. And then FIFA 13, which is very fun. I'm still playing that at the moment. The controls have uh, set up very well. They've, yeah, they've done a really good job with it. So next video is, next video, oh my gosh. I don't know where my head is at tonight. Um, next game is Tapped Out, which is Simpsons Tapped Out, by the way. Um, you basically can create your own little world, your town, you buy things, you get characters to do different jobs. Then you may wait for a while, get them, uh, come back, they've completed their jobs, it'll give you a little update. Then you do some more. Next is bike race, similar thing, but it's just bike racing, and you don't build a world or a town, so it's kind of got nothing to do with it, but it is fun, it does have multiplayer, so props on that one. Hardest game 2, don't even get me started, but I will say it is a fun game and it is competitive, so if you are the type, definitely go ahead and grab it. It is free and parking free. Obviously, it's a free version, but it is quite fun. Many, 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 many levels. So, next is just my random crap that I don't really like. So, we've got utilities. We have uh, just random stuff like messages, contacts, books. Don't really use it too much on my iPad. And then, a uh, new sandwich I don't use too much either. So, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like. And I am doing a... Uh... Actually, just, just wait for the outro. All the information will be in the outro. That's it from me. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, I'm sorry for the delay in videos. And yes, my 100 subscribers, which is now 150 subscribers, um, <clears throat> will be uh, out tomorrow. It's just I've been really busy lately. I've had my mum's birthday, birthday, um, a bunch of different things. Um, so I just had to get this uh, video out to let you guys know I'm still here, I'm still around, and I'm still making videos, and also on top of that, click to my last video to my left over there, and click on my face for my next video, which will be my 50 subscribers, uh, 100 subscribers, sorry, $50 iTunes gift card giveaway. Um, there will be a special surprise in that, so definitely uh, check that out. Also, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel now, because... Uh, it's one of the requirements for the um, gift card giveaway if you do want to enter, hopefully you do, 
and um, subscribe down below like I said uh, like this video hit me up on Twitter I'll leave a link in the description and that's about it from me I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, leave a comment to what's your favorite iPad app below uh, that's it from me I hope you guys have a wonderful day and this is Jordan Macintosh HD signing off peace